this is who NATO and US are facing. In this video I will present a little history as they say. There is no written data, but the legend says that on November 9th, 1989, on the night of the fall of the Berlin Wall, a young Soviet officer of the USSR Army is on duty at the KGB headquarters in Dresden, a city in the German Democratic Republic at the time. Next door is the headquarters of the Ministry of State Security. The angry crowd literally knocked down a wall of the building. About 5,000 people, both nervous, angry and drank, drunk, descended on the Ministry of State Security building and robbed everything, including the security guards' files from that date. Files that contained everything from real data to the identities under which they were working undercover. Then came the terrible fate of many of them who were killed, pursued and so on building is completely demolished. After looting and destroying the building, the insane crowd comes in front of the KGB building. At the sight of the crowd, the wave of angry people, the chief of staff at the time, a Russian colonel, fled. The next in command is a lieutenant colonel, who automatically became responsible for the personnel, the building and the secret documents in the archive. He called on nearby Russian troops to send guard troops to guard the KGB building. But he is refused by the headquarters of the Russian military guard unit, arguing that he could not send military troops and an escort without an express order from Moscow. And Moscow is silent. No orders can be received from the USSR. At this time, in the Russian capital, the elites are at a banquet, celebrating the fall of the Berlin Wall until the morning. The commanding officer in charge of the security of the KGB building which had only eight people at his disposal, understood that the aid would not come. Having the unpleasant feeling that Moscow had literally thrown those who remained in the front line in the hands of fate. In order to not suffer in the same way as those in the neighboring building, previously destroyed by the mob, the KGB officer goes out alone and meets the crowd at the entrance in front of the gate of the KGB building. An angry voice in the crowd demands to know who he is and what he wants. He explains to the angry mob that he is there to relay the situation. He tells them that the fall of the Berlin Wall is a result of the recent actions of the USSR and that in the building behind him a number of USSR citizens are working at the time and that they can run on the streets breaking to the Ministry of State security building, but the building behind him is part of the USSR territory and that both he and the rest of the Soviet officers are forced to protect it at all costs. He explains to them that on his belt there is a pistol with 12 bullets, out of which one he will keep for himself, having to fire the rest of the 11 into the crowd in order to protect the building. He explained that, as a Soviet officer, he has no other choice. Also, the other 8 people inside the building have been armed and ordered to place themselves by the windows before he came out to meet them by himself. Having said that, the officer turns his back to the crowd and slowly goes up the stairs. At the moment, he expected to be hit by rocks, beaten and stabbed, but nothing happens. As he turns, he sees the crowd dispersing and heading in different directions that night. No one entered the building that night, nor the following nights, and as a result, the KGB files and archives in German Democratic Republic have been kept safe to this date. This is the same guy that is leading Russia today. His name is Vladimir Putin, a military career officer.